what's the ideal way to live our life is start living at present now it's so difficult uh, many times because there are many stories and things suggest that we are here we are thinking about the past we are here we are thinking about the future but most of the time we never live in a present now what is a living present moment means now say for example you were in a what of the financial situation you are in and you are where you are because of the decisions you made now prima say okay you know say you went for a loan and uh, you were working in a job you committed for some time but say you lost your job and um, now the commitments are showing you as a over burden now, there is so much things that you can think of why did i do that why did i why did i listen to someone you know how do i how much you know why did i get to the mess but all these things cannot give you the results and you are spoiling your present moment thinking about all the things which you did and which you didn't do and so on so forth you need to start living in present now having said that well, there is one example i can talk about it you know there's a couple of days back you know i got a call and then i was just talking with someone and then he said madhu you know you you didn't spend enough time with us when you started early on and maybe that's a drawback for um, you for you to take this role so for which i said only one thing sir what happened 20 years ago 15 years ago unfortunately or fortunately i cannot change it but what i can do is that you know um, i can change the future if i would be given an opportunity um, because there is no point of telling giving him a stories he knows i left i know i left to the place but you know what is the way forward is what something you know both side people should understand but there is no point of me regretting why did i leave i mean if i regret that if i can can i go back and work those hours there's no way it's going to happen so that is about start living so you need to upfront and say those things they might things can turn out in a negative way which is fair enough but then that's at least you're bold enough to say those things that fortunately i cannot change things what happened 20 years ago but can i change the future yes with the experience i have i can definitely look forward and uh, take to the next level but you know unfortunately fortunately this is what we should start uh, focusing on things what we can do with what we have we need to do the best we can with what we have and if we we you know if we keep contemplating what happened in the past and what's going to happen in the future we stop living in a present the day you stop living in a present pretty much when you look back when you grow old uh, for which of the time you are given you live again in you know, most of the regrets so that's not what uh, you know marcus elias or you know in many of his meditations he mentions that that start living every day every second every day you wake up thank god that you know you have given this wonderful opportunity for you to go and uh, touch many lives um, as many as possible and um, in the best way you can and then again move forward in the same direction rather than what i could have done what would i do you know what i'm thinking what i'm going to do the first day. neither of these things are existing neither past exists neither future exists what exists is you at the present and what you are doing at this present matters most with that note i would like to leave you and then do follow um, some of those things which i'm going to come up and do leave your comments and thoughts on um, what best you want to do in a 24 hours which is going to be given to you every day and every moment of your life stay tuned stay blessed and um, be good to go and friends the people around thank you very much